2024 NFL Draft coverage on Keon Sports is brought to you by JBL Roofing and Construction. JBL was founded by the Lewis family of Kent, Ohio in 2005 to provide residents with a reliable, professional, and high-quality level of service. Fast forward to today, JBL Roofing and Construction has become one of Northeast Ohio's most trusted roofing and siding companies performing the highest quality work on over 3,000 roofs and projects. Mickey Mart, the moose is on the loose. Your local Mickey Mart is open now for all the food and fuel you need to keep every big game party going. Mickey Mart is proud to team up with Keon Sports to bring you all the finest moments in local sports information and entertainment. Visit www.mickeythemoose.com to find a store near you. Gotcha Covered Avon. Their team of experienced design consultants are experts in helping you find the right window treatments for your home or business. Swing by their showroom at 2525 Nagel Road in Avon to see for yourself how they can make your entire living room or any room look better with a few small suggestions and low cost. You can also find them online at gotchacovered.com slash Avon. Lally's Handyman Service, from deck and fence building to indoor and outdoor remodeling, Lally's Handyman Service has you covered. Matt and his crew is well known around Keon Sports for doing a multitude of services and have hit a home run every single time. Repair, replace, and remodel with Lally's Handyman Service. Give them a call at 216 789-2047. Lou Grosso Accounting and Tax Services. Your taxes and accounting needs must be handled by the very best so you can rest easy. You can have that comfort of knowing your money is being handled by the experts with Lou Grosso Accounting and Tax Service. They prepare individual, corporate, nonprofit, and small business tax returns. They also specialize in investment accounting and managing clients' QuickBooks with over $275 million in assets accounted for. Located in Avon, they prepare your federal, state, and city return, which includes e-file and direct deposit. Please visit their website, www.lugrossotax.com, for more information. And Every Step Senior. Every Step Seniors is a full-service relocation service helping seniors to downsize and move. They handle every step of the way, including packing, moving, setup, home cleanouts, donations, and home sale prep services. Make sure you check out Every Step Seniors today. Day six of prospect rankings and the conclusion of the offense upcoming here on the Keon Sports YouTube channel, I'm Cole McDaniel, and it's the interior offensive lineman rounding out the offensive side of the football. We move to the defense tomorrow, but let's jump right in. Let's get started here. And at number three, it's Cooper Beebe of Kansas State. He's the best offensive guard in this class. He can really play at either left guard or right guard. Is an absolute mauler with a nasty demeanor. He's big, holds his ground well, and at times seems unmovable. He has good awareness, a good feel for combo blocks, and plenty of potential in pass protection as well. He really has the ability to battle on a phone booth, a tight space, and win consistently. Sometimes he does tend to lunge, and he needs to remain patient. Uh, he can be a little bit slow when kicking inside, and tends to be a bit better moving forward rather than back in pass protection, but he has all the traits, the makings of a really good offensive guard in this league. My player comparisons for him, Osiris Torrance, that type of size, that type of physicality, and Joel Batonio, a multi-time pro bowler for the Cleveland Browns. Batonio uh, has been doing it at a high level for many years in the NFL, and BB has the potential to be like Batonio as well. My projection for him... He should be the first guard taken. Um, he certainly is going to be at least in that mix somewhere between the second and fourth round. Probably think it's going to be on the earlier side than later side of that range. And the best fits for him, Minnesota. Uh, he could instantly align there in Minnesota and get some time. Miami, uh, they lost Robert Hunt, so adding him to their line would be crucial for them. Get a tough physical guard. Chicago. 
their line is improving over the past couple of years, but it still needs a little bit of work, probably more so on the inside than I think their tackle play has improved a little bit. So BB would be very helpful there to block for DeAndre Swift, um, Roshan Johnson, Khalil Herbert, those three running backs, plus the new quarterback that they will have at the helm as well. And the wild card is the New York Giants. You can put him in there and try to keep their quarterback, whether that's Daniel Jones or somebody else, upright, and also see if he can clear out some space for Devin Singletary or any other running back they have in the run game as they're still realigning some things on the offensive side of the ball, but BB would at least help sure up the offensive line for them. The next two prospects, number two and number one, are both centers, of course, with mentioning that BB's the best offensive guard. So it was a toss-up between these two guys. But I do think that number one should get the edge here, and we'll talk about him in a moment. But number two is Zach Frazier of West Virginia. He's a true center with good pad level and an innate ability to win at the point of attack. He's a nasty demeanor combined with patience and pass protection. His wrestling background assists with getting excellent leverage and generating intelligent power. I like his pre- and post-snap recognition. I think it's top tier. He is a grinder and seen video, and you're going to see it here in this film, of him being able to toss much bigger players as well. He does have a tendency to bend at the waist rather than at the knees, which means he lowers his head. That can get him a little bit off balance. Uh, He is a shorter center of gravity, which is not a bad thing with generating some leverage. Um, But he's definitely not the biggest guy out there and does have some tightness in his movement, which limits him out in space. I do think he lacks the elite athleticism, uh, but I don't think it's going to be a major holdup for him at the next level because he has the intelligence to make up for it. My player comparisons for him, Tyler Linderbaum. I think he has that type of physicality, uh, that type of ability getting leverage and then Juice Scruggs as well. So I think his ceiling's probably a little closer to Scruggs than Linderbaum. Uh, It's probably somewhere in between those two guys. Both are starting centers in the NFL, and Frazier should be a starter right away. It's going to be a second to third round pick, and the best fits for him, Carolina, should start right away there. Philadelphia, he can replace Jason Kelsey. Seattle would be another good fit for him. I think they could use another good center on that offensive line to help sure things up for them. And my wild card is Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh, they do need a new center, and Frazier uh, would be a perfect fit for them. My number one prospect here for the interior offensive lineman, another center, Jackson Powers Johnson of Oregon. Uh, He's the best center in this class, edges out Frazier here um, because he is just an excellent interior offensive lineman with a broad frame, He has great athletic ability, plenty of power, uh, and even with some good size, he's still pretty quick, nimble, and explosive as well. Powers Johnson shows off strong hands, and he often uproots defenders. He does climb well to the second level. He plays tough, and he is a tone setter in the run game. Sometimes he plays a little bit high and exposes that chest too much, which leads to stalemates rather than him just overpowering the defensive lineman. Um, But he really doesn't get bowled over much at all or displaced. It just happens to turn into a stalemate, doesn't get a ton of push. He has average length and gets a little bit overly grabby when he gets beat by counters. But uh, again, that is more few and far between. Uh, I think a lot of players do tend to get a little bit grabby uh, when they do get beat, but it doesn't feel like it's too often for Powers Johnson. My player comparisons, Luke Whippler, I think he has that athletic ability of Whippler. I think Whippler was a very good athlete coming in at the center position, but Powers Johnson does have him beat on the size. He's got more of that John Michael Schmitz size, not quite as heavy, but uh, Schmitz was a great player coming out of college last year, and I do think he is that type of ceiling as well. He should be a late first round pick to third round pick. Uh, Going to see him go early in this draft and he would be a great fit staying out on the West Coast and going to the Los Angeles Chargers, help with that run game, get some more size on that line. Philadelphia, replacing Jason Kelsey. Arizona could be a good fit. 
they need some work on their offensive line. And then San Francisco. I think San Francisco could even decide to uh, maybe make a replacement there at center. I think their center play could ta- certainly take a step up from Jake Brandle, but uh, we'll see what they decide to do there on that. Maybe a wild card if he's sitting there and they think he's the best player on the board. Why not pull the trigger and take Jackson Powers Johnson? That does it for the offense. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in the last six days. It's been a blast going through the offense, but a lot more content upcoming. The next five days, we're going to go through the defense, and we are going to start this year on the back end. We'll start in the secondary and work our way up to the defensive line before we wrap things up here. Just a little over halfway through now that this video is wrapping up, so make sure you stay tuned still the next five days. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I look forward to being back with you tomorrow.